All right, day of July 27, 2023. It is 8.22 p.m. Super, super late posting this because I had to go and do something after work. And then I've been on Facebook teaching on that for a minute, about an hour. Hey, Amen. And I really don't have much to say tonight except the fact that we was talking about pimping God's people, standing on the word of God, things of that nature. If you want to see that, I'm not going to repeat the same thing. Please go to the Facebook post. Hey, Amen. Uh, Floyd Downs and see that um, statement from the night. Hey, Amen. Been on Facebook now for about two and a half weeks. Hey, Amen. Trying to line up with the word of God and so many facets of the word of God. Want to be real. Hey, Amen. Want to help people develop. Want to help people grow. Uh, want to see people progress in the Lord, get a deeper and closer relationship with the Lord that we're missing out on so much of, amen, because we're looking at this in the wrong way instead of the way of righteousness and holiness, uh, we're looking at it in a way that's not pleasing to God, amen. So we got to get it right while we got a chance, amen. Do you agree? We got to get it right, amen. So um, hmm. let me see something. We was talking about, we did a study on uh, defeating strongholds of the mind. And we talked briefly about speak words of life and blessings. Uh, we talked about Proverbs 18 and 21, that death and life is in the power of the tongue. Father, we thank you right now for allowing us to be on here one more day. We ask you, Father, to forgive us of all our sins. Anything we said, done, thought of, acted on, had a body language with, attitude with, that was not pleasing in your sight. If we discourage somebody, cause somebody to stumble, amen, I ask you to forgive us in the name of Jesus and give us a strength and mindset to live holy. Give us a strength and mindset to walk righteous. Give us the ability to be obedient to your word, God, and not be on a hearer only, but a doer of your word, standing firm on the word of God, walking and trusting in the word of God, being obedient to the word of God, and allowing the Holy Spirit to be all in our life every day, yielding to the spirit of Christ, submitting ourselves to the spirit of Christ, that it will not be by word, but it'll be by the spirit of God. So we thank you for this opportunity in Jesus name. Amen. So it's talking about speak words of blessing. Words kills, words give life. They either poison, they are, they are either poison or fruit. You have to choose, right? Because death and life is in the power of the tongue. I have a slogan on the wall. You probably heard me say it before and they ask the question, are you a fountain or a drain? As if fountains bring life and energy to their team, they are positive, encouraging, and make everyone around them better. Do you fit that qualification? They bring life and energy to their team. They are positive, encouraging, and make everyone around them better. Or are you a drain? Suck the energy out of the room. They are negative. They complain and have a problem for every solution. Are you a fountain or your drain? And it starts with death and life is in the power of the tongue. But yet, even before that, it starts with so a man thinketh, so is he. Because whatever you think, because we say what? Every thought or everything starts with a thought. Whatever you think, if you entertain it, amen, you begin to believe it. And the Bible says that we are to cast down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself of what God's word says. So when we're listening to what the enemy says, we have the power through the Holy Spirit. Death and life is in what we say. We have the power through the Holy Spirit to cast down those imaginations, those thoughts. And allow them to line up or allow our mind to be steadfast on Jesus. For the words say, I keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind steadfast on me. Amen. When we line up with the word of God, amen, when we walk in obedience to it, God will always give us that peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. But it starts with the way we think. So a man think it, so is he. When we think negative, we become negative. Misery loves company. So when we think in negative sin, we begin to speak what we think because it starts with a thought a thoughts come to the mind if you don't cast it down it goes into the heart when he goes in the spirit man you begin to believe it what happened when you believe it? you begin to speak it because you have already received it so when you begin to speak it now it transforms life into the atmosphere because you can create your own atmosphere so when you create or transform life into the atmosphere in the second heaven where the angels are fighting the demonic whores for on your behalf or my behalf, we begin to bind and loose the wrong way. We begin to allow the demons to take possession of the territory that belongs to us. Because the Bible said, whatever you bind on earth, he'll bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth, wherever you allow other words, he'll loose in heaven. So when we don't stand on what he has instructed us to do, the word of God that says it is written. When we don't stand on the word of God, we'll give the, we give the enemy permission 
to come in and sup with us. He don't have the right. He don't have the authority because according to the word of God, we bind that stronghold in the name of Jesus and we loose the power of the Holy Ghost. So it starts with the way we think. The way we think affects the way we believe and what we believe comes out of our mouth. You may not have meant to say it, but stop lying when you say I ain't mean to say that. You said what was in your heart. You may not have meant to let it out, but that's how you were feeling. Go back to what we're teaching on the other channels about emotional stronghold. That what what you were feeling because what you thought on, you thought on, you begin to feel what you feel. You begin to believe what you believe. You begin to hide in your heart. And then it came out. It manifested itself. So guess what you did? You created an atmosphere that was toxic. You created an atmosphere that created, allowed the enemy to have free reign. Amen. We're going to create an atmosphere tonight in the name of Jesus that allowed our Holy Ghost to have free reign. We push back every attack of the enemy. God, we renounce everything we ever entertain. Whether witchcraft, voodoo, sorcerers, palm readers, Amen. Horoscope, the stars gazing. Amen. Anything that was demonic nature, we are denounce it. We let this never know. We no longer practice those things. We ask you to forgive us in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to plead the blood over our lives and seal it our lives when we came new creatures with the blood of Jesus that those strongholds can never take place again. And now that we belong to you, God, and now that you have filled us with the precious gift of the Holy Spirit, we create an atmosphere of positivity. We speak those things that be not as though they were. We claim for our health. Our health shall spring forth as a new day. We speak life over our finances. We speak life over our marriages. We speak life over our children. We speak life over our income. God, we believe you for your word. Because we would not speak death. Only death we would speak is on the enemy hand. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So we have to invoke blessings. Amen. When you tell people, bless you. Amen. The Hebrew word for bless in this scripture is Barack. Not Barack Obama. Barack. It means consecrated, set apart, sacred, holy, sanctified, and word of adoration, reverence, or worship. It also means to commend. To speak words invoking divine and supreme favor with the intent of favorable circumstances. To speak words of excellence or to greet one another with positive verbal exchanges. We see this pattern of blessing throughout scripture. The Lord blessed Noah, Abraham, and Moses. Abraham's son Isaac blessed his sons as the Jewish fathers throughout scripture. Jesus blessed the disciples. Paul blessed Timothy. The same is true for each of us, God's children. Blessing is intertwined with our kingdom inheritance. God has blessed us. To be blessed signifies that God is present and involved in our lives. It means his hand is directing our affairs for a divine purpose. He speaks words of divine favor, amen, and blessings over those who live a life, how? Dedicated to God. Another way to say this is that God provides this kind of blessing to those who live before the face of God. Amen. You got to sell out. You got to do something. If I delight myself in the Lord, he says, what in the promise? I shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Amen. For them that live before the face of God, blessedness then describes the condition of one who rever or reveres God. Amen. One that respects him, lives a life steeped in him. Him. You just not going to get it because you want it. You got to do something. Amen. Faith with thy works is dead. And follow all his ways. All his ways. Amen. If you love me, keep my commandments. All his ways. This person does not just look to God in spiritual or religious matters, but in every matter. Walking in that Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. God is not just the most important part of this person's life. To this individual, he is the very reason for his life and existence. Amen. He is this person loving, truthful, and wise father. Friends, this is how we should be. God should be everything to us. Is he everything to you? Amen. What are you speaking out your mouth? What are you allowed the enemy to put in your head? What are you entertaining? Come on now, talk to me. As Christians, to practically apply the truth of these blessings, we must entrust ourselves to the Lord in such a way that he heals our life. We must lay down everything he asks us to, for the cost of Christ and his kingdom. And we must walk, live, and speak out our agreement with God. That's where we're standing on the word. It is written. And we must, amen, walk, live, and speak out our agreement with God and his word. Our kingdom inheritance, amen, is as sons and daughters who believe the promise of divine favor he has bestowed on us. When we do this, we are partnering with the fullness of his father's blessing. We will walk in blessedness and in turn, 
speak and act in such a way that the promises of God are made real in our lives. How? Through the way we speak and act. You got to understand the power of negative confessions are dangerous. Very dangerous when you speak negative. Amen. When you're complaining, you're telling God you don't trust him. Amen. You got to understand there's death and life in what you say. But faith comes by hearing. How do it come? By hearing the word of God. You got to get in the word to build your faith up. But if you want to build up your most holy faith, the Bible says, building up your most holy faith in Jude 20 by praying in the Holy Ghost. Choosing the power of blessings over negativity. Choosing life over death. Amen. Amen. And what occurred when we choose to walk in the way of blessedness? What transpired when we speak our words that are in line with our kingdom inheritance of blessings? Demonic strongholds are counseled. And strongholds are the mind and emotions are defeated. Negative thought patterns and harmful emotional cycles cease. Praise and celebration come forth in our hearts and minds. Negative word release negative experiences. But speaking the truth of God's word releases his blessings. The truth of God's word, it releases blessings. It brings forth prosperity, happiness, and great joy. It invokes the divine favor of God. It releases great faith. It positions us for success. It causes gratefulness, thanksgiving, and praise to flow in us. It becomes easy. Through us and out of us, it empowers us to function in loving kingdom relationships. When we speak truth, we set an example that draws the lad or draws the lost world. People can see victory over strongholds in our lives and they become hungry for the same blessed reality. How? When we speak the truth. Speak truth with all men. Death and life is in what you say. Build up the body of Christ. Encourage the body of Christ. Strengthen the body of Christ through speaking life and not death. Amen. God bless you tonight. Just wanted to come on and drop a little something off because I've been on the other channel for over an hour. Amen. Please hit subscribe, like, comment, share the comments, share the, uh, the word of God. It's about the word going forth, not about me. I promise you that. It's about the word going forth. Allow God to be a blessing to you. Join the YouTube page. Amen. Uh, Chasing God. You'll see my ball here. Amen. If not, you can go on the floor down. 1966. All run together. Amen. Subscribe and like it, man. Please support the minute. Help me get the word out. Help me share this God. We talk about it. I, I got some channels I listen to that talk about football all day long. And probably go listen to it now. But we don't have a lot of channels that tell the truth. We have channels that talk about God. But there's so much sugarcoating going on. Or so much beating down going on. One of the two. But we got to love on God's people and tell the truth. Amen. So continue to support the ministry. Facebook, Floyd Downs. Continue to support the ministry. TikTok, I think it's at Floyd Downs, 1966. I don't remember. I don't get on that that much. But God bless you. I love you. Keep me in prayer. Keep the ministry going. Amen. Support this ministry. And let God be God in your life. Speak life. Speak life. Don't let the enemy cause you to speak against God's word. But stand firmly. It is written on God's word. Y'all have a blessed night.